Hey, Wonder Friends, you know one of my favorite things to draw is I love to draw pigs. They're a lot of fun. You can have a lot of fun with them, and we're going to have a lot of fun drawing that pig right now. Okay, Wonder Friends, let's have some fun drawing this cartoon pig. We're gonna start with our page up and down before we get started. If there is a chance where you feel like you've messed up or you feel like I go too fast, just get a new piece of paper, start over, no big deal. I'm gonna draw with this Sharpie here. You can draw with anything that you would like and you're going to draw different than me and that's okay, you're gonna draw just like you. We're just gonna follow around along, have some fun making this cartoon pig. All right, now these are really fun characters to draw and I want you to take a lot of uh, liberties at this. What I mean by liberties is take, you know, if you want to make yours different or you want to make it chunkier, or if you want to get skinnier or whatever you want to do, have some fun with it. Just use my idea as a base to start yours with. We're going to start right up here at the top with a big circle just like that. And I want to put a little shape at the bottom just like so. Now I want to draw one that kind of curves a little bit, and we're just gonna put a little shape like that. And we're gonna draw this way, and we're gonna put a little V shape between those. All right, now we're gonna draw a line across, and when you just draw a line across, you fill those in. And then when you start to fill those in, you can kind of straighten up all of your little points and things like that with your colored, with your marker as you go in there. And then I'm gonna draw one arm out like this with a V at the end of it. And I'm gonna put a line. I'm gonna draw another arm out like that. Two arms, sorry, I put the V. I put the V in there before I did it. Got a little ahead of myself. Got a little too excited drawing this character. Okay, now that we have like the, the base of, oh, and of course, we gotta put the squiggly tail, okay? Now we know where the body is, and now we're gonna build the face. And when we build the face, I want you to kind of use an imaginary line. Pretend that you have a line going up and down, so use my hand as an example, and that you have a line going sideways. So pretend there's a big crisscross. If you do this over your paper with your hand, without the marker, you can kind of like see it a lot better. And in the middle, I want you just to put a circle just like that. And we're going to bring a smile all the way around that, just like so. And at the end, we're going to put these little shapes like that. And now we have this, we're going to put two little circles on each side. Just like so. And then let's put some dots there. Now, if you wanna put some eyelashes on yours or anything, this is a great time to do that, feel free. I'm gonna put some eyebrows up top there, just like so, if you wanna make the, yours bigger, you can. And on the pig snout. Now, we know pig snout have, they have like the two big nostrils are really big on there, so if we just put two zeros on the end, now we have the snout, right? Now, the ears, super simple. Now, you've seen a football, right? We're gonna put a football on one side, and a football on the other side, just like that. Now, I'm gonna put a curly hair up top too. If you wanna put a different kind of hair on yours, you can. And I'm gonna put a little squiggly line at the bottom here, and that just kind of gives a little cartoon shadow like he's running. Um, just, It's just a fun way to do that. Um, if you wanna put anything with like your, your different Sharpie, like little circles up here for like some freckles or any extra things that you wanna put on there. This is a great time to do all of those things. Otherwise, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fast forward the video here, and if you wanna color just like me, at the end of it, you just need to pause the video. Uh, now's a great time to go get any colored markers, uh, pencils, anything like that that you wanna color with. Now's a great time, but again, if you wanna color just like me, just pause the video at the end, and you just, you can do that. So let's do that right now.
Okay, guys, as we start to wrap up here, um, anything that you want to add in there with the fine point marker is a great time to do that. I'm going to add in just a little inside of an ear here. Just add a couple little more details to it. Um, I feel like it's just missing a little something with like, you know, a, when you're drawing a pig, you kind of have like little things that you can add to it. If you think about like pigs have a lot of like little fat rolls and stuff like that, which just helps your character look a little more piggy like and all that stuff like that. I'm going to draw a little motion lines around the outside because, you know, our our character's running. It's a great way to do that. If you want to color the background, you can do things like that. But this is uh, this is our little pig here. So I hope you had fun drawing the pig. I am going to draw, I'm going to round out those eyebrows a little bit. They feel like they look a little better rounded out. All right. All right, guys, so the last thing we need to do is we just need to sign our name on this so everybody knows who made this awesome piece of art. Hey guys, hope you had a lot of fun drawing that pig with me. Uh, and you realize that you can change uh, the pig into different shapes and stuff like that. I hope that you did take a little bit of chance to change the shapes and make the pig a little bit more what's what your imagination wanted it to look like. Uh, remember just the elements that you need in the pig is the snout, the ears like footballs, a round shape and a body. If you want to draw the pig more realistic, really look at a lot of pictures of pigs and study them, things like that. If you want a cartoon just like what I did, just simplify it. Change it up a little bit. Maybe one ear is a little different than the other one, or the body of the pig is rounder or skinnier, or the head is smaller. Have a lot of fun with it because when you're cartooning, it doesn't matter what it looks like. It could be anything because you're in control of what it looks like. That's the beauty of it. And the more you practice, the better you'll enjoy it, the better you'll be able to see it, the more fun you'll have with it. And speaking of fun, if you really like this video, check out the video that's coming up next, where I guarantee that I'm gonna show you how to draw something that you may not know you can draw right now, but hopefully after the video, you'll be able to draw it a little bit better. Hey, Wonder Friends, I would love to see the art you create and feature it on one of my videos. With the help of an adult, take a photo of your finished art and post it on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Don't forget to tag me so I can find it. Hey, are you looking for a signed copy of one of my books? Check out my website, wondervillestudios.com for books, t-shirts, mugs, and more. I also do loads of school visits and would love to hear from you about scheduling a visit. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out all the other fun drawing lessons. Until I see you, be the weird you want to see in the world. See ya!